So I've got another kind of writing help for you. If you've been having a hard time connecting to your reading materials when you're doing your DJs, or if you are writing an essay or a story and you're having a hard time coming up with examples and ideas, I have something that is going to help you out. And these are called slurps. Yeah, that's a slurp. So slurps is a mnemonic, which is a memorization device to represent my sister never saw him slurp bugs. So if you can keep that little poem in your mind, my sister never saw him slurp bugs, that's going to help you remember the different type of connections you can make to either what you are reading or what you are writing. So the my is going to stand for movies. Movies, guys, are another form of text to text connection. Movies, you've all watched them, can be a great way to use an example in your writing. So say you haven't experienced something firsthand, certainly you've seen a movie about it, and you can use your movie example to prove your point. Sister is going to represent science. And this is going to be a text, come on pen, text to world connection. So I know you're all taking a science class. Anything that you come up with that proves your point that's based on science can be another example. It can be something about gravity. It can be something about Einstein. It can be something about discoveries that have made or the human body. But you can use examples from science to connect to the text you're reading or to add an example in your own writing. Now, the never is going to represent news. And I'm specifically thinking of current events. That means things that are happening right now. Now, I know you guys are going to tell me that you are not specifically newspaper readers. So this one can either be a text to text or a text to world connection, depending upon how you use it. So a text to text connection would be if you actually read something either in a newspaper or a news magazine or online or if you even watch it on TV, the nightly news with your parents, or it can be a text to world connection, something that you know from hearing your teachers or your friends or your parents talk about it is happening in the world today. So never represents news, current events, what's going on. Saw is gonna be a favorite for you, I can tell. Saw is representing sports. Anything at all to do with sports. So this is going to be a text to world connection, or it may be a text to self connection if you are an athlete, unlike myself. So sports guys, talk about your favorite sports hero. Talk about an activity you do in gym. Talk about exercise that makes your calves ache and your arms weak. Whatever it is, sports can be an example that you use to connect to what you're reading or an example that you use in your own writing. Next, him is going to represent a favorite of mine and that is history. And so now we're talking about past events. And this is definitely a text to world connection. You all have a history class. So I know that you've been listening to teachers talk to you about what's happened in the world before. If you can remember any of the examples from what you've learned in class, this is an example of a history slurp. So you can prove your point by talking about how you've noticed this has been something that has happened in history, or you can connect something that you're reading about to events in the past that the reading is discussing. 
history. The slurp, slurp, is perhaps the easiest one. The slurp, slurp, is talking about scenarios, which is a fancy way of saying your own personal experience. So that's going to be a text to self example. Text to self can be, this is what has happened to me. I connect to this book. I connect to this story because the same thing happened to me. Or if you are trying to prove a point, you can say, I know this is true because in my own experience, I have seen blah, 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 blah. You could also use this one for something that happened to your sister or your best friend or your mother, but it's a personal experience and it's going to be a text to self connection. So our final connection is going to be bugs and that represents books. And so of course, this is going to be a text to text. And for books, it doesn't have to be a novel that you've read with me. It can be short stories. It can be a magazine. It can be a comic book. Or it can be a novel. Books basically are a great way of saying, I know this is true because it happened to and you talk about the character that you're reading about. Or you can relate one book to another. In this story, the character says blah, 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 which is just like the other story that I read where the character says boop, -de boop, -de boop. So there you go, guys. Slurps, a mnemonic, which is a way of remembering things. My sister never saw him slurp bugs. My is for movies. Sister is for science. Never is for news. Saw is for sports. Him is for history. Slurp is for scenario. And bugs is for books. So now you have, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven different categories of examples you can use when you are trying to connect to the text that you're reading in your DJs or when you're writing your own stories and essays, giving specific examples. My sister never saw him slurp bugs. Movies, science, news, sports, history, scenarios, books. All right, let's start making connections. <laughs>